the Big Dumb Fun Show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode, another edition of the Big Dumb Fun Show. My name is Aaron. I'm Bankman. And I'm Rena. Welcome back to another Big Dumb Fun Show. A lot of good stuff on tonight's show. First and foremost, let's get this out of the way. Hold on to your pants. Hold on to your pants, everybody. Mad Libby joining us tonight on the Big Dumb Fun Show. Very oh. happy. I know. I know. We've oh. been uh, we've been trying to get them on for quite some time. Quite. Uh, very glad to have uh, Mad Libby uh, agreeing to uh, to be with us tonight. You know, we ran into him not too long ago at uh, Collapse Fest. Ran into uh, got a to, chance to talk to Dana. Yeah, it was great. And uh, and, and at that point in time, Gnurk's like, we got to go over there and pin her down. And I said, dude. That is assault. And he's like, no, <laughs> like for a date. Like pin her down and, and try to get a, a, a date that they can come by uh, the show. And I said, okay, that, that sounds a little bit better. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't totally against the first yeah, idea. That's actually insult. <laughs> <laughs> so Harassment's always a good word. Matt Libby going to join us in the next uh, couple of hours on the Big Dumb Fun Show, so stay tuned for that. And I uh, heard this, little birdie told me, <gasps> they're going to be bringing acoustics. Oh! Ooh, that's always the best. Very cool. So uh, the the gals and dude uh, from Mad Libby going to be joining us here in just a few moments. Uh, getting to give us the uh, the acoustic performance uh, of a lifetime. Probably the acoustic performance of the century. Well, hopefully it's an acoustic performance of our lifetime. Yes. <laughs> Not uh, somebody else's. Oh, yeah. Like Phyllis Diller. Yeah, thank God. Uh, <laughs> we need to talk about Phyllis Diller a little bit later in the show. Which uh, I did read about her death, but I know absolutely nothing about this lady. You're the Entertainment 10 reporter. I know, but doesn't mean I was alive 95 years ago to know much about her. Yeah, you don't have any idea who she is, though. I have no idea. Just I keep reading about her. I mean, she's 95. I'm 20 mm, something. Mm hmm. So, 70 years ago... And by that, you mean lower 30s? No, no, no. I'm 20. I'm still in my 20s. So, uh, so we're in the middle of the show, maybe we should bring you up to speed. Since you're 50, you should yeah. know a lot about her. I feel like I'm 50. All right. Uh, another thing that I, I want to talk about... I want to talk about this. those 50-year-olds in the room. Oh, my bad. Oh, there's you're not 50? any. No, I'm not no, 50. I, didn't think I want to talk about uh, Todd Aiken. Yeah. My IQ is 50. Todd Aiken <laughs> talking about legitimate rape. You hear about that? <gasps> Who's Todd Aiken? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Pick up a newspaper or something. And uh, we have an exciting, exciting, yeah, a very, that, very exciting big list Most tonight. girls don't get pregnant yeah. <laughs> from a rape. We have uh, a very exciting big, big list tonight. Actually, some no, do. No, I know. That, I'm not the one That's what the whole story yeah. is about. We'll, we'll fill you in on the story and get okay. your opinion. He's Aiken, all right. That's now. right. He sure is. I'm and, uh, of course, uh, Matt Libby going to be in here in sports with a guy named Chris. I actually tried to get a hold of Chris earlier in the, the day. I said, hey, are you going to be here? And he said, absolutely nothing. So I don't know exactly what's going on with a guy named Chris. I'm hoping that he will be here shortly to give us uh, a, a, a taste of what's going on. Plus, we also, well, uh, we I was wanting to ask him what he thought, like his Olympic wrap-up. Was there uh, one thing in particular with the Olympics that he thought was just great? I have no idea. So, well, well, on Entertainment 10, we will talk about Tony Scott, Nicki Minaj, Mm-hmm. Rosie O'Donnell. That's some more sad news. Do you need? Do you know those <laughs> names? Do you know Tony Scott? Names? Yes. No clue. I'll tell you. Days of Thunder. I'll tell you. Nope. We'll tell him on Entertainment Ten. Okay. I had an interesting experience over the week that I, I have to let you know about. You ran over a cat. I did not run over a cat. Uh, the company decided that we were going to take a trip to uh, the the Worlds of Fun, which is a uh, in the Kansas City folks all know this a big uh, amusement park here. Uh, I love North it. Kansas City. I hate it. Did uh, you I get free like tickets? Yeah, got free tickets. The company went out there. Why didn't you take Company me? sponsored event. I didn't even want to go, but it was kind of pressured to because you're thinking, okay, are I you work sure you're not going to go? Oh, come on, you got to go. I'm like, no, I'm really busy. You know, I really got to get this work done. And no, no, come on, you got to go and work can wait. And like, hey, when work tells you that work can wait, uh, work can wait. And uh, did they buy you some cotton candy? Yeah, they did. So, in fact, uh, we, we went out there, we ha- rode a couple of coasters, which. For uh, a fat dude, coasters are not the best thing to ride. Did you uh, ride the Mamba? I did. Oh, was um, that awesome? I rode the Prowler. Did the ma- I, rode, I rode most everything. The Prowler's pretty fast, isn't and, it? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to... Then I, they, they took he us to lunch. Care. And right? then he dropped the Growler. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't care about my... They, they took us to lunch. Enthusiasm about... No, I don't care at all. Uh, I've <laughs> never even been to Worlds of Fun. Never have? I haven't been don't, this year. Never. I love it. The don't. Prowler or the Mamba... If you, the had to, if, if you had to pick a good day to Fury go, of the Nile? this had to have been the best day. Take me. No. 
Yes. Not going to do it. Love you, it. Usually it's Call a, it's in sick and have Rena show up in your place. <laughs> usually it's a I con- would it's, love to. It's a concrete jungle, right? All you need is asphalt. It's like going to the zoo. All you need is the hat. Yeah, you need the hat. And the glasses. Just say, hey, I, I'm Call me Venkman. <laughs> and they'd be like, whatever, just here you take it. He's go. really determined to tell us a story. I'm, tr- I'm trying. <laughs> so. They take us out did for. Did you ride the carousel? I did not. <laughs> they take us out for a chicken sandwich, and uh, did you get ranch on it? I did not. <laughs> Come I, on, I'm, <laughs> le- I'm letting him tell the story now. Don't make me turn <laughs> okay, your mic down. So, so they take us out for a chicken sandwich. Uh, I, I I enjoyed my chicken sandwich, and then uh, immediately felt bad, and I was like, oh man, what was what was in that chicken sandwich? I, I felt very upset. Chick fil A. So went to went to the restroom thinking, okay, this is what needs to happen. Not actually what needed to happen. I did not uh, have to uh, evacuate the bowels or anything like that. So still just like stomach cramp after stomach cramp after stomach. This was just getting ridiculous. And I'm like, man, what is going on? It was a combination. Uh, it had been a combination between that and uh, the Timberwolf, which needs to be uh, burned uh, as far as I'm concerned. I'm surprised the that is awful, roller, coaster awful roller coaster is still in service. Yeah, me too. It's like, hey, it's uh, the North America's biggest wooden roller coaster. Yes, yeah, because they don't make them out of wood anymore. <laughs> So that's a when rough. you were riding the ride, were you looking at the timbers to see if there were any falling or rotting off the ride? I, w- I would have thought by now, like the the rust would have made it smoother. Um, you can't get rust on wood. They, they, they got iron tracks on the wood, but oh. so so I get done with this, and then I have to immediately go to Isle Capri. I'm just not feeling good the whole time. I'm just like, oh god, what is the? De- I am just so. Like, I'm just doubling over in pain. And so now I have to get on the microphone and like, hey, everybody, come on down and play these games. And I'm just hurting so bad. And I don't know what's going on. I really think I had, I know food poisoning takes a little bit longer than normal, but uh, I, I couldn't exactly know exactly what was going on. I really felt, I thought I was going to have to go to the emergency room. This hurt so bad. It sounds like gas to me. I tracked it back. <laughs> I have ripped every single pair of jeans that I have, <laughs> right? Ripped them right in the crotch. And this is a backstory. I ripped every single pair of jeans that I have right up in the crotch, all in the same place, same crotch leg, right? I don't want to know why. I had to, buy, I had to go get an old pair of jeans to wear to Worlds of Fun. This wasn't a stomach ache. No. It turns out I had tight jean-itis, right? <laughs> <laughs> and when you, when you mix a delicious chicken sandwich, and you uh, your jeans roller coasters more. to shake it all up, and a pair of tight-fitting jeans, you're in for a, a fartastrophe, right? Like, this is really not good stuff. <laughs> and so, thank God that night I was able to let it all loose. And now... Feeling better. The wife won't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> we have a great wow. show planned for you tonight, folks. Uh, sports with a guy named Chris, the Useless News. Uh, interesting big list. Mad Libby joining us tonight on the Big Dumb Fun Show. Oh.